Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I've got a fun project for you using the brand new online exclusive called Iconic Imagery. It's a great bundle, $38.50. You get lots of images that will carry you through all of the holidays. Uh, you've got fall, you, fall, winter, Christmas, Valentine's, um, and these great scripty fonts and then this great giant die as well as the dies that cut out those smaller images. Uh, to go along with that, I've got the Iconic Celebration 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack. And it's got the papers to go with each of those as well. If you were just a beginner, this would be a perfect set to get you started. Now, I'm not a beginner, but I love it too. So, take a look at it. You'll, you won't find it in any of the catalogs. It's just online. Um, we're going to actually use the birthday themed stuff in here. We're going to use celebrate and there's these candles too. I didn't even point out for you and the confetti paper. Um, so the little treat box has a slider belly band on it and it opens like this. And inside are these new birthday cakes from little Debbie. They almost look like little moon pies. I'm going to show you the box. Um, I have linked the Little Debbie Snack Finder on my blog today for you to go. Um, you can put in your zip code and find the store in your area that carries these. I love to find new Little Debbie snacks to create treats, uh, treat boxes for because they're very, very inexpensive. Um, this one, there's eight in here for $2.79. So check them out. It's a fun way to keep little... Um, uh, birthday treats on you for maybe at work for those people when it's their birthday you can pull one out for them okay well let's make our box first I am using uh, boho blue uh, that this piece is boho blue I'm also using moody mauve and misty moonlight which are the colors in the designer series paper and if you're wondering what colors are in the paper look on the back of your paper stack it'll tell you all the colors that are in there now also on my blog there is a free pdf for this project and two other iconic uh, imagery projects and right here at the bottom here's a supply list but you'll find the measurements that you need as well you can save it print it um, do whatever you want. It's free. All right. So 10 by eight and a half and on, let's start on the long side. We're going to score it three and a half, four and three fourths, eight and a fourth and nine and a half. Now turn it to the short side and we're going to score it at one and a fourth, four and a fourth and five and a half. Once you've scored your piece of cardstock, I want you to lay it down so that you have the shortest side up at the top. You've got the two sections, the two smaller sections up at the top. On the right side, you've got this skinny section and then that skinny section in the middle. And if you look at your box, when you lay it down, this is basically the construction. You can see over here, that's gonna fold up to be our bottom. Um, I've got a template here already ready to kind of show us what pieces we need to cut off. All right, so both of those need to go, this little square here, this little square here, and then over here, we're gonna do these two sections and this rectangle. Now, let me turn it this way. Hopefully, it's in the camera well so you can see it. Okay, now in a minute, I will lay down the piece without the template so you can see exactly what you need to cut. That will help you um, if you wanna pause the video. All right, so before you start cutting, I recommend burnishing all your lines first. It just makes it easier that way. Okay, and a bone folder will help you do that. Get those lines nice and crisp. Like that, we've got one more up here. Okay, so now let's go in and cut off these sections. First, we're gonna do these two. And when I'm cutting larger sections, I like to use my larger scissors or your trimmer that will ensure that your pieces um, that you're cutting off are straight. All right, so now let's flip it over here and do these two. There we go. And now we've got to do this one like that. All right. Now this little flap right here, we need to cut in like that. We're not cutting it off, we're just cutting in. Right here, we're gonna also cut in like that. 
And then we're gonna cut this square off. And when I cut this one off, I'm gonna kind of do a little angle. We're gonna adhere that behind the other side. So if I cut off those corners, um, it'll be hidden really well, okay? And now just snip, snip, and snip. Now I'm gonna switch over to my smaller paper snips if I have them, yep, here they are. And I am going to, on the bottom here, just cut the corners off. Again, this will help you. If you're like me, sometimes my score lines aren't perfect and the edge might stick up over the edge of the other piece. So if you cut off the corners, it kind of just helps you get everything nice and square. And see right there, I can see I cut on the outside of the score line instead of the inside. So let me straighten that one up. All right, there we go. Now you can do that up here on these two. It's not quite as necessary but you can cut the corners off of those too. All right, I'm gonna lay this down. There you go, that's what it looks like if you need to pause the video um, to get your piece cut. Hopefully that will help. All right, now we're gonna take, I'm just gonna use Stampin' Seal for the ease of the video. Um, if I was gonna do this to give as a gift, I would definitely use liquid glue or tear and tape or Stampin' Seal Plus. All right, now I've put glue right there on that larger side tab. I'm gonna fold it down and lay that one down. And that should line up perfectly. And look, right there I can tell, I always do that. I cut on the outside of the score line. There we go, let's trim that up. All right, so those would fold in there. Now for the bottom, fold in the sides first, and then the back, and then fold the front flap over. That's gonna give you that rounded edge. All right, and there's your box. I mean, it's just really so simple. And we'll put our little cake in there like that. And you fold those over and that goes over and over like that. All right, now for the paper, I have cut this, this side measures three and a half by three. So my paper is two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. So we'll put one there on the inside and then we'll put one on the outside. That little star pattern is really cute too. That would be a great choice. All right, we're gonna put that right there like that. All right, now let's make sure everything lays down perfectly. All right, now I have just a one and a half inch wide by 11 piece of Misty Moonlight. And we're gonna make this the belly band. And I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna just kinda, kinda center it and then fold it over and pinch those sides folding and pinching. All right, and then we're gonna take that, a little bit of adhesive on that end, and we're gonna just adhere it over the end like that so that it will slide off your box. Now we've got this great new ribbon. It's called a frayed edge ribbon. Um, it's also online exclusive, only online. You'll find it in our online exclusive section of our website. Um, and it comes in vanilla also. Online exclusive doesn't mean anything except you'll only find it online. It's available for purchase for everyone. It's not just a demonstrator special. It's not just for Stampin' Rewards. It's just exclusively online. All right, now trim those and there we have our box. All right, now let's do our stamping. I love this little candle image. And we're gonna stamp, it's two-step stamping, and I was lazy and just to use one block, okay? <laughs> we're going to stamp it in both Boho Blue and Moody Mauve. And it's two-step stamping. So I'm gonna take the striped part and stamp that in full strength right there. And then I'm gonna take that fill-in image and stamp off on some scratch paper so that we get that lighter image and stamp right on top. All right, now I'm switching colors. I'm gonna clean that, and then we're gonna do this same thing in Moody Mauve. This time I'm gonna do two of them. One, two, and then I always forget to stamp off. Stamp off, otherwise you'll lose your, those stripes. You won't be able to see them. Ink, stamp off, and stamp. Now, we've got a die to cut these out. And let's see, let me show you the die so you know. It's this one right here. And for the sake of the video, I've already cut them out. So we're gonna do one boho blue and two moody mauve. 
Also, there's this tiny little die right here that will cut out the flame of your candle. And they're very tiny, so we're gonna wanna get our take your pick tools here to um, glue those down. All right, and then the other thing you wanna cut out is a Misty Moonlight Heart, which is that die right there. Okay, now let's get a Moody Mauve. Don't you love that name? I think that's such a fun name. Moody Mauve um, Spotlight on Nature Circle, okay? And I'm gonna just stamp the little heart all over it, also in Moody Mauve. Now, the middle of the circle is gonna be covered, so I'm just gonna kind of focus around the outer edge. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we're gonna stamp the word celebrate. What color did I do it in? Let's see, where is my belly band? Oh, we did it in boho blue, so let's do that. This large celebrate can just be used for everything, right? It's really great. There we go. My, uh, my uh, stamp is stained pink because I've used darker reds on it. And so when you stamped it with blue, it looked like it was gonna come out purple, but it's just a stain. It's not, it's not going to compromise the color at all. All right, we're gonna stick this onto this uh, circle with dimensionals. And then let's get our glue. We're just gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here. And now let's get our take your pick tool. And we're gonna put one Moody Mauve candle there and one Moody Mauve candle here. And then I'm gonna put another little dot of glue right here and we'll put the other candle. Oh, they're just wiggling all around like that. Okay, and then we wanna put a, just a teeny tiny, as small as you can dot on each of those candles. I really want them to overlap, there we go. Okay, and then we'll get our little, I cut the flames from peach pie glimmer paper. Remember on that PDF I showed you at the beginning, there is a complete supply list with item numbers if you need them. All right, right there. And then we'll take that little heart and put it down here. And you know, before I do that, I wanted to get my Wink of Stella and just make it a shimmery heart. Okay, now we'll grab it and put it right there. Okay, we're almost done. I feel like this is probably gender neutral. If you're worried about it, you could change that moody mauve. It's not really a pink, but I don't know, maybe it translates a little bit, looks like a pink. I think it's great. And I think the person receiving it will care more about what's inside the box. I'm sure your friends will be like, oh, this is so cute. But honestly, we know they just want the little Debbie snack. The little Debbie snacks are one of those things I don't think we buy ourselves, you know? And if someone was to give you one for you, you would feel like, ooh, it's a special treat. All right, there we have it. Really cute. I always suggest keep, you know, making a set of these, keeping them in your desk at work um, so that you can give them. I know when I was teaching, it, would all, it was always somebody's birthday and I was never prepared. So if I just had a little few little treats inside my desk, to hand out. It made it look like I was very thoughtful. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog, check out that free PDF and the two other iconic celebration or iconic imagery projects. And of course, let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.